Welcome back, folks. It's 14 minutes before 8 o'clock. And of course, if you are working today, you should be there by now. Getting ready, getting set, and going. Well, um, we're joined on set by Shannon Hutchinson, who is known as the Flying Artist. And she's here to tell us more about Chasing the Light. It's an art exhibition taking place from the 20th to the 29th of April at Horizons Art Gallery. And she's here to give us all the details. Welcome, Flying Artist. Very nice to meet you, Mark. Thank you. Great to have you here at Morning Edition. Um, tell me, Flying Artist, what, what's, what's the, 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 the thinking behind that? Um, it was a term that was coined many years ago um, in, a, in a newspaper article, actually. I'd started um, showing my work when I was a teenager, and I'd also gotten my pilot's license when I was a teenager. I was 17 at the time. And, um, at the, you know, it, um, yeah, the newspapers really enjoyed it, calling me the, the flying artist. <laughs> and it's just something that sort of stuck, you know. A lot of my artwork is also aviation inspired, so I guess it, it's sort of, it's quite fitting, I think. Now, when you say aviation inspired, is it, is it that a lot of your artwork is, what, of cloud formations a lot and airfields and yeah, hangars and Actually, it is about aircraft. a lot of, it's a lot of um, cloud formations, um, a lot of colors that, that we see from the cockpit. It's usually a bird's eye view. Um, most of my work, particularly when I started developing as an artist, um, I, I did a lot of large scale works that would fill the peripheral vision of the viewer. So you actually feel sort of suspended in the landscape. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's a bird's eye view. And a lot of my work is also done on our aviation expired maps. So oh, you can often see okay. the airways, um, the airways maps, you can often see the airways through the clouds and through the paint. So, so here's the interesting question. Mm -hmm. um, while you're in the cockpit, are you, are you the, the active pilot, co-pilot, while you're, you're conjuring up these images and, and sketching them out on a canvas or...? Well, I'm never doing the two things at the same time. Well, yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is the point that I'm trying to get at here, so... Um, I'm always inspired. I love, I love my job. I love flying and, I, I, of course, I love painting. Um, and I always, you know, I get to work. I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you get to work and you think, oh, what a drag, waking up at 3. And then we take off into this, the most spectacular sunrise and I usually will either see the sunrise or the sunset every day that I get to work and it's just absolutely brilliant and um, I use that as inspiration I often um, I, and I will use that uh, yeah I, I, a lot of my paintings particularly in the show uh, all about the things that I see when I when I fly so you have a lot of pieces on display um, at the opening night an invitation to Chasing the Light. Mm -hmm. um, opening night is April the 20th. It's at the Horizons Art Gallery. That's right, it's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. How many pieces um, will people expect to see? I lost count a couple weeks ago, but the last count was about 43 <laughs> or 44, probably more at this stage, yeah. 44 pieces? Yeah, up to yesterday I handed That's in a lot of pieces. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done, um, I, People know me for working really large scale, but I've done quite a, a lot of miniatures as well. So <coughs> there's a wide range of, um, of works that's accessible on all levels, yeah. Now, in terms of what people can expect, you're gonna have pieces that are mm -hmm. um, the, 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 miniature, the miniature size, mm -hmm. um, and you're also gonna have pieces that are large. life size. Yes. Now, the miniature pieces, mm -hmm. um, people can expect those prices to range from... Anywhere between 1,000 TT to, to 3,000. And they're, they're, qu they're quite small, but they're, they're and they're beautifully framed and everything. And then the larger works that are, that are quite large, I don't have a lot of medium-sized pieces. The larger works will go between 10 to third, top, top off at around 30,000 TT. And, and how successful have you been in the past in, in, in really um, moving your, your artwork? Um, very. Um, I don't show very, very often, but my work always moves. Um, I, I've shown in Trinidad as well as in Italy and in Canada, so I don't exclusively show in Trinidad. I've yeah. shown elsewhere as well, and my work has always done very well. What's, what's the experience like, in, in particularly in Italy, as a European um, um, country? And it's been, it was beautiful. I lived in Italy for a year, and I did my um, fine arts thesis year there. So I finished my degree. I also have an art degree as well as being a pilot. Mm -hmm. And um, so my thesis show was there um, in one of the piazzas in Florence and it was 
it was just spectacular and it was a show that I ended up bringing home to Trinidad. Um, I was really influenced by a very classical approach to painting and it is actually where I learned to make my own paint. So I brought back, this is 10 years ago, I brought back beautiful pigments, raw pigments from Italy and I've been making my own paint as well. Um, I don't make all of my paint now, but a lot of the more brilliant colors that you will see um, in my paintings, uh, I've, I've made myself. And I also use copper dust in some of my works, and the oxidization of the copper also does some really beautiful things, particularly in the clouds that I've been painting. So. I mean, this is really fantastic work. Thank and, you. Um, this has been, this is what, your second or third um, exhibition um, in, in Trinidad? In or? Trinidad? Oh gosh, no, I don't, um, it is, I think maybe my third or fourth solo show mm -hmm, here, mm -hmm. but I've been upward, in upwards of 50 exhibitions, again, not only in Trinidad, but, but around the world, again, mostly in Canada and in, um, and in Italy. But I mean, really, congratulations. Thank and you very much. An invitation to Chasing the Light. Opening night is April the 20th um, from 7.30 to 9. It's at the Horizons Art Gallery and the exhibition runs from April the 20th to the 29th. This is fantastic stuff. I want to congratulate you. Thank you. Shannon Hutchinson. Yeah, folks, go ahead and support this. Um, have a look at her great work. The Flying Artist. She has been dubbed. <laughs> yes, the flying artist. <laughs> Folks, we're going to take a break. We have a lot more for you um, still on this agenda, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Fab India Expo at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shogonas has been extended until the